The Mansion Poker.net Poker Dome Challenge has many unique characteristics that you just won't see anywhere else. What that table does, the electronics, the computers that are in that table, there isn't another one like it. It triggers every portion of our television program. It is the heart of the show. Why don't we take a look inside? We actually have several computers running at the same time to control the different lighting effects. The countdown bars, the extended time button, and the deal button. These boxes over here are the camera control units. Statistics at the table, the pot tracker screen that the dealers use during the game also helps the game flow. I'm just going to look down and say instantly, he's in one for 48,000, your turn to act. The cards have electronic chips in them so that all that information registers instantaneously. This card allows us to pick up its signal as it's being dealt and then our computer will look it up in the database and that gives us instantaneous graphics and statistical information. Everything reacts to what's happening during the course of play. The table control system here has the different effects for the bump outs, the bump ins, and the player timing lights. It's close to 56 music cues. Each round of playing, we have a deal cue, stop deal cue. But then, much like a rock and roll show, we have cues that I can fire at random whenever the director wants. You get every bit of information as it unfolds. The cameras are everywhere. Six robos, a jib, three hard cameras, nine POVs, overhead cameras. We have each player wired up to a heart monitor. You can see how these factors of the game, the time pressure, the audio, the cameras, everything, how it affects them. Your hairs on your arm just go up. Without a doubt, this is the most technologically advanced poker venue in the world. There are no second closes. It isn't like we're neck and neck with someone else. This is it. Mike, it's certainly not like the old days when all you needed was a green felt table, a deck of cards, and a bunch of chips, is it? No, Barry, it's practically sensory overload. Regardless if you're a pro or an amateur, it's a lot to take in and can definitely affect the way you play. Well, the clock has played a little bit, of, had a little bit of an effect on the table so far. We see there with Walker and before Six with thousand. Lamar. 6,000 on the 910 suited. And Newman again. Ace Little cannot do any business with that. Now we'll see about Walker. And she's picked up fours again. Yeah. I swear we see more fours at the Poker Dome than anywhere else. Wow. Deuce Jack. And wow. There's a third four. Okay. Ding! <laughs> we have a winner. 5,000. And Mourinho plays right into it. Absolutely. He's following through with a continuation bet against Walker, who's a tight player. Wow! Amazing! Quads at the dome. What a scrumptious card that was. Five more. Well, he's going right at her again. He is betting into the jaws of death. <laughs> Make it ten. Marginio is gonna have to give up here on the river oh. and he does nice. Good hand. cost him dearly so Lisa Walker who was uh, nothing more than in the audience last week uh, as her husband played uh, this week has uh, really uh, come up big so far she and her husband Kevin have now become familiar faces in the poker dome last week I was here my husband Kevin Tanner, he played in the Poker Dome. He finished fourth. I had a good time in the audience. It, it was much easier to get a grasp on the game. I think poker's been a huge part of our relationship. Sometimes lying at bed at night or around the dinner table, we're talking poker strategy. We're very competitive, and I'm always trying to do better. Anytime I have a big win, he likes to take all the credit. So I'd like to rub it in that he lost, then I won. And here he is right here, taking credit for uh, the quad fours <laughs> that she just had. Kevin, you did it yourself. Barry, I've been playing poker 10 years, and I've never made quads in six. The odds are just astronomical. Well, now Lamar with an ace king, and she may get a couple takers here. Welcome to the game. She's, she's had some hands, though, the king deuce of spades. I'll call. Richie will call. The only other real playable hand here is, is Walker, and I believe she's going to let it go. After you make some big hands in poker, you really don't want to play any more pots unless you have a real premium hand. I, I found that in most poker players. So two to the 
flop and a jack queen nine for Richie. Wow, Barry, what a dangerous Five, flop. A 10 here would actually be the worst card for Richie because it'd give him a king high straight, yet Lamar an ace high straight, and he would never see it coming. Richie, oh. very slow heart rate, just 87, almost half that of Lamar. It's a four on the turn. Lamar still with ace high. Really a dangerous board for her here. A 10 still the worst card in the deck for Richie. Maybe he can get her off the hand by betting. See what he does. This will be a very aggressive bet. And it is from Richie. And Lamar will take a long look at this. Well, this is a situation where the board is so scary right now, even if he doesn't have a hand, there's so many cards that fill in hand, she just needs to let it go. Yeah, and she does, wisely so, and Richie will add to his chip lead. So John Ritchie wins another hand here, and again, six players who started are still here. Plenty more poker to come, don't go away. Coming back to the Dome after this.